so second one dash were used by the ancient roman romans as their numbering systems so the answer is what shall i clean this one finished all of you correcting this one no place to write so i'll clean this one okay all corrected now first one first one is there is no zero in the roman system second one if you have written correctly you can put tick mark second one the answer roman numerals second one the answer is what i don't have place here so i have written here second one the answer and it's short so roman numerals if you have written this one correct this one wrong half marks if both the answer is correct then put a small tick and it's short four marks no filling the blanks so put a tick if it is correct finished all of you next first one is roman system first one if you have not corrected check and correct first one roman system second one is roman numerals finished next i don't have place so i'll clean this on second one here repetition of a symbol means what repetition of a symbol means repeating addition it is what third one is addition repetition of a symbol means addition if your answer is correct put a small tick if it is wrong put wrong only understood check your spellings also you have to check when you are writing you have to check your spellings also a d d i t i o n addition next fourth one fourth one the romans used dash of the alphabets as basic symbols so how many alphabets they were using they were using seven letters seven letters i don't have place to write here so i am writing here understood i don't have it here small place it is there to write so i can't write this one so i am writing here answers understood don't get confused children so the fourth one answer is seven letters if your answer is correct put a small tick if it is wrong put wrong if you have written all the answers correct give four marks it is for four marks is yes or no four marks write four here if one it is wrong three it is correct means you have to give three marks if your spelling is wrong half marks you have to cut understood all of you how to give marks this one don't bring for correction book you have to correct ut book understood next one the second main you see finished all of you this four next second main write the hindu arabic numerals for each of the following here they have given x x x x x x means how much 30 if you have written 
put a small tick if it is wrong put wrong half marks for that one only half marks next second one what is the letter they have given d d means 500 d means 500 if it is correct put a small tick if it is wrong put wrong finish it fast next third one you see they have given v 1 2 3 so v plus 1 6 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 1 8 answer is how much 8 Next fourth one you see two x they have given two x means how much one x means ten two x means twenty twenty plus five v means what five twenty five plus one twenty six twenty six finished all of you if All the answers are correct. You give two marks. If one it is wrong or two it is wrong means you cut half of marks and cut and write. Understood? Understood all of you? If two it is correct, two it is wrong means how much you'll give? You'll give one marks. If everything if it is wrong means you have to put zero. No marks. Finished all of you? Next, write the Roman numerals. They have given third main. You see, they have given write the Roman numerals. Here, no place. So I'll write here answer. Understood, all of you? First one, what they have given? Hundred. Hundred means how much you'll put? What is the letter you'll use? C. We'll use C. Next, second one, twenty-five. Third one, fourteen. Fourth one, forty. They have given here. Yes or no? Twenty-five means how you will write twenty-five? Two x. Five means v. Five means what you will write? V. Two x. Ten plus ten, how much? Twenty. Twenty plus five is how much? Twenty-five. So for one x, we'll put ten. Two x means twenty. So twenty plus v means twenty-five. Right on. Next, what they have given? Forty. So x i v. X I V fourteen, forty. How you will write? How you will write forty? X L. X L. C means so hundred. C means how much? It stands for hundred. Twenty five two X V V will write. Fourteen means X I V. So fourteen. Forty means X L. X L. Next, the last main. So if it is correct, you write put tick mark here. If it is correct, you can give two marks. If it is one wrong means you have to cut half marks. And write one and a half. Understood, all of you? Next, write in ascending and descending order. They have given. So ascending order, how you will write this one? Shall I clean this one? The first one.
right in ascending and descending order they have given first one what they have given you have to write x x to x x l x x x so first you have to write the value for this one so what is this one 2x means 20 x and l means 40 x means 10 3x means 30 you have to write the value first right ascending order ascending order means smaller to bigger which is a smaller number here 10 first we'll write 10 so 10 you should not write you should write the x there don't write this one if you write this one i'll cut marks in the test you have to write this one understood x second one we have finished 10 next 20 20 finish then 30 then 40 Check your answers whether you have written fast. 10, 20, 30, 40. If it is correct, put a tick mark, one marks for this one. Understood? One marks. Next, descending order. You have to do descending order. Finish it fast, this one. Check your answers. Finished? You have checked. Next, descending order, how you will write? Descending order means bigger to smaller. How you will write? Bigger to smaller, you have to write. So, which is the bigger number here? You can see, which is the bigger number here? 40. So, write X, L. Finished? X, L. Next, we have finished Excel. Next, which one you will write? 30. So, next comes 30. We have finished these two. Next, the second, third one, which one it will come? 40 I have written. 30 I have written. Next, which one you will write? 20. Write on 20. X. X. You should write this one, not this one. If you write 20, 40, 10, 30 means you'll get zero. Don't write that one. To make you understand, I have converted this one in numbers. You have, you have to write first value. Then easily you can understand that one. Easily you can arrange that one. Understood? If you write in the test this numbers, I will give zero. Don't write that one. You have to write this numbers. Roman systems, you have to write. Roman numerals, you have to write. Understood? Don't write this numbers. 10, 40, 30. Don't write that one. You have to write Roman numerals. Understood? Next. X, L, 40, 30, 20. The last is what? 10. The last two is 10. Understood all of you? If your answer is correct, put a tick mark. Half correct, half wrong means half marks you have to give. Understood? When you are arranging, you have done ulta or something or mistakes means check that one. If this two it is correct, this two if it is wrong means half marks you have to cut. Understood? Here also the same way. See that one that you have arranged properly. Ascending order, smaller to bigger. Descending order, bigger to smaller. If it is correct, then give two marks for this one. Understood? How much marks? Two marks. So, totally 10 marks for UT 
So see how many marks you have got. If you have got eight, count. Filling the blanks four, I have given. This second main two, third main two, the last main two. Yes or no? Four plus four two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If everything if it is correct, give ten by ten. If anything is wrong, you deduct that marks and you write. Understood? Eight. If you have got, you have to write eight. If you have got seven, write seven. How much you have got? You write down that. Understood? All of you, this ends your UT. Okay, all of you understood now how to correct the UT. You only put a small tick and alert the marks. In the end, you write the marks there, and how much you have got totally. You count and you write down. Okay, thank you, students.